Well, good morning, Calvary family. Uh, it is uh, Wednesday morning. We decided to take an earlier walk today and uh, enjoy the sunshine and less wind uh, this morning. So some of you have been doing a good job guessing our locations. Today we're at a new location and I uh, wonder if maybe by the background you can guess where we are. Probably many of you have never even been to this spot and uh, so we want to encourage you to get out and explore the city a little bit uh, even in the shelter in place. Uh, you can get out and do a little bit of walking outside uh, as well. Do you hope that you are doing well? We're continuing to pray for you and thinking of you and uh, I want to talk a little bit about Jeremiah chapter 2 and chapter 3 today as uh, we begin hearing Jeremiah's uh, preaching and proclamation to Judah and uh, really just calling them out for their sin and their rejection. It's interesting, chapter 2, it starts out by talking about the commitment that Judah had to God at the very beginning. Uh, actually, in these couple chapters, refers to, Jer uh, to Jeremiah refers to Judah and Israel as the bride of God and uh, says that at the time they were faithful, they were trusting and depending upon God. But then as time went on, they began to seek other gods and uh, actually refers to this as an adulterous action and even uses strong language as uh, whoring after these other gods. And then the surprise is that they turn back to God and they wonder why he's actually angry and upset. And uh, in chapter 3, uh, Jeremiah challenges Judah by saying, look at Israel, they're actually more righteous considering the fact that Judah saw what happened to them. Israel didn't really pretend to continue seeking after God, they just sought after the, sought after the false gods. And uh, But Judah kind of wants the best of both worlds, worshiping under every tree and on every hilltop, yet then turning with their eye back to God and pretending that they actually are worshiping him actually declares that the priests do not even know God. They're challenged in a couple of areas. One, that they uh, do not seek after God. And then two, that they build their own water cisterns that do not hold water. And uh, they are in desperate, desperate situation. And uh, again, they're kind of blind to their own situation. It reminds us of ourselves. We don't see how bad we are. We're blind to our own blindness. And, uh, but the hope is actually found in God. At the end of chapter 3, he begins an invitation. He says, if you will acknowledge your rebellion, if you acknowledge your idolatry, if you acknowledge your disobedience, I will be faithful to you. I will show forgiveness. I will show uh, my grace and mercy to you. It's actually a great reminder to us today as well. We don't have to depend upon ourselves. We can depend upon God. And even when we recognize our sinful ways, if we will confess uh, our sin, God is faithful and he desires to draw close to us and show us mercy and grant us the forgiveness that he has provided through Christ. It is actually really stark and stunning, but we also see ourselves in this passage. And so I would encourage you to look through Jeremiah 2 and 3 uh, this couple of days. And we'll look forward to seeing you again on Friday. Again, if we can do anything for you, be sure to reach out to us and let us know. Looking forward to the message on Sunday as well. Seeing some of you at Food Pantry on Saturday. And uh, we'll be praying for you. They have a great week. Take care.